I don't know what that's going to focus on, but you can see the needle. So it's sitting in the Earth's magnetic field. What did I just do? I, I put a charge through this coil. This coil is connected to these two little leads on the, on the genicon. Okay, there's two little leads. So all I'm doing, I would have lit up a light bulb if I had. But am I changing, the, I'm making current flow through that coil. Am I changing the magnetic field that surrounds that compass? Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't see that motion. This has so much resistance to it. I have a super thin wire here. Mm -hmm. And then, so just to turn it, and the faster I turn it, the stronger the resistance. But look at that. This Einstein says is one of the first things he ever had seen. His father worked at a, uh, what did they call Dynamo, um, right? He worked, and that, that was their name for generators. He worked at a dynamo plant with his uncles. And so here was his plant, and it was full of creating electricity and wires and he said his earliest memory was his uncle gave him a compass. And he put the compass down under some current carrying wire in the dynamo plant. And he's like, what? He said that was the first time he realized that there were forces that worked without contact. And he said he never let go of that wonder. And how the heck are these two related? And that was the beginning of his search to understand light. And that's what led him to the special theory, and that's what led him to the general theory. So let's go back to 